Good morning, Colby College. This is Ms. Studer with your Red Fox Report. A little brisk out here this morning. You can see my cheeks are nice and rosy. I'm up here on the ridge where the beaver pond is just down there, down that way. I showed you it several times now. I wanted to show you up here on this ridge something really neat. Because something you probably don't know about white pines is that it's very easy to tell how old a white pine is. So first of all, a white pine. This, this right here is a white pine. Very common tree here. I think it's the state tree of Maine. Um, if you take a clump of its needles and you look, whoop, hands are a little cold. It's a little cold out here this morning. And you look, you can see that there are five needles. One, two, three, four, five. W-H-I-T-E, white pine, white pine. And it's here all over the place. It's everywhere here. These are small. I'm standing where the um, tornado came through and it was a mature pine forest here where I am. And of course, what's grown up is lots of pine. So let me show you how you can tell how old they are. You come right down to the base. Let me get you in here so you can see. Right down into the base here. And every single one of these clusters coming out comes out in a year. So we got one, two, three. Well, that was a good year. Four. Well, that was a really good year. Five. Six. And then something funky happens up here. I don't know if you can see it. Try to get my fingers in here. Get you right into the tree with me. There we go. Something funky happens here. I'll show you why in a second. This was the terminal branch and it's now dead. But these, so five, six, seven, ha, huh, seven years old, seven years old. Now I bet you're wondering what happened to that top branch, that terminal, we call that the terminal lead. It's coming out of the top of the tree. It's where the tree is growing from. And look at this one here. You can see this one's dead. This one's dead. And if you look at white pines all over the place, in fact, I can even show you the one that, this is the one that I always take pictures from, um, from, the, from the tornado. I don't know if we can get it in there. There's a, there it is. See that big dead tree back there? It's like, let's see if I can get a good perspective on it. Oh, I get a good perspective from over here. So you can see these white pines are everywhere in here. I come in, I count them, and I find ones that are my age, because then that means they happened before the tornado. <laughs> it's hard for you to find a white pine that's 58 years old. They're pretty big now. So you come around, up, oh, walking through the brush. That's what I do best anyway. Here we go. And now, let's see. See that? See that white pine behind me that's dead with the two big, the two big prongs coming up off, off of it? So what happens is that that white pine borer takes that terminal um, uh, shoot off of the tree and then the tree just grows two uh, terminal shoots, the, the two that were next to it that are the biggest. And we'll come back up here to the one I showed you before because I picked it out special because it's one of the ones up here that's doing that. It's kind of funny because they're all in a cluster. I'm like, oh, is this one? So you can see here that this tree, let's get you in the tree again. You can see here in this tree, my hands on it again. Can you see my hands yet? There we go. So with this tree, you can see that these two, I don't know if you can see that. Let me get you out of that branch. There we go. You can see that these two, three branches here are growing straight up and the terminal branch See if I can get it in here for you. This one's dead. This, this is dead. So this will do what that dead tree over there did. And uh, now I challenge you. Look at white pines everywhere. Look at white pines everywhere. And you're going to see tops of them that have like these two big shoots coming out of them. And that's because that white pine borer is really pr uh, prevalent. It's everywhere here. So when you're driving down the road, take a look at the white pines and see the ones with the V's at the top. And you can say, oh! 
oh, that one, that terminal chute was taken out by a white pine borer, and everybody will be impressed. Um, so, you know, as always, telling you to go out there. Yeah, you know, it's a little cold out today, but I don't care. It's beautiful. It's a lovely day out here. Um, so see if you can find a pine tree that's your age. It's kind of fun. Don't forget to start down towards the bottom there, because some of those dead ones down there you might miss. And Miss Studer signing out with your Red Fox Report as the sun blinds us over my shoulder. Bye-bye.